The A4915 is a cost-effective three-phase brushless motor driver that simplifies consumer and industrial designs by eliminating the need for a microprocessor. The unique features of the A4915, along with the Allegro development kit, enables you to reduce your design cycle time. The A4915 gate drive is rated to 50 volts and can support up to 150 amp load current. The voltage rating of the device and drive capability of the device supports a wide range of motor loads, supporting a 5 volt minimum voltage and integrated sleep function. This part is ideal for battery operated high power applications. Motor commutation is managed by an integrated state machine which uses Hall inputs without the need for additional external circuitry, significantly improving time to market by eliminating complicated software development. The A4915 is ideal for battery operated applications such as handheld power tools, lawn and garden equipment, small kitchen and home appliances, commercial coffee makers and vending machines. Let me show you why this device is unique. First, the integrated active brake feature shunts energy in the low side drivers to reduce spin down which is critical for consumer and industrial safety requirements. Hall elements are fed directly into the A4915's integrated state machine. The A4915 manages motor commutation with a simple PWM on the enable input or analog voltage on the speed pin. The speed input is particularly unique because the PWM duty cycle on the bridge is ratiometrically controlled based on an analog voltage between ground and VDD applied to the speed input. The driver implements center aligned PWM which automatically recirculates power in the bridge between the high side and low side MOSFETs. This feature distributes power dissipation between the external high side and low side MOSFETs improving thermal management and reducing noise. One advantage of the A4915 is its package size. Two package options are available. Take a look at how small they are. The actual size of the unleaded device is 5 millimeters by 5 millimeters. Here we have the two evaluation kits available for the A4915. The first is for the leadless QFN. And we have a leaded board with an ETSSOP device. You see the six output end channel MOSFETs for the bridge along with bulk capacitance and output connections. VBB input connection, an onboard 5 volt regulator is provided to pull up the logic inputs. All logic inputs and bridge signals have test points plus a header is provided to interface with a computer. The hall inputs are here and we have a row of jumpers which can be removed, isolating the device from the FET bridge. So you can use your own FET bridge. We have our A4915 development kit completely set up with a motor. We have a brushless DC motor attached with the signal wires for the hall sensors, the output wires for the motor windings, and we have our DC bus supply. So here's what we'll be working with. A frequency generator, which will be used to apply PWM signals to the board a voltage source to provide the bus supply to the device. A second voltage source is used to supply the analog voltage to the speed input. And as you see, we have a motor with an attached disc for visual cue for rotation. The scope probes are set up on the three outputs of the motor and an additional probe to see the input signals. The display of the oscilloscope is output to a PC monitor to better display the traces. So first, let's take a look at how the A4915 controls motor commutation. What we're showing here are the three output signals. Channel 1 is the yellow trace, the red trace is channel 2, the blue trace is channel 3. These are outputs SA, SB, and SC respectively. Channel 4, the green trace, is the input PWM signal. Channel F1, the orange trace, is a zoomed in portion of the input PWM signal. So right now, we have zero duty cycle applied to the enable PWM input. We're going to use the dial to increase the duty cycle of the PWM on the enable input. As you can see, the output shown on the orange trace shows a low duty cycle square wave, and the motor begins spinning. As I increase the duty cycle, the motor speed increases. We reach 100% duty cycle and then reduce the duty cycle 
to slow the motor down. As I do this, you can see the electrical frequency of the outputs decrease. On the scope, we're showing the same outputs on channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3 representing SA, SB, and SC respectively. The green channel is the PWM signal which is applied to the direction pin of the A4915. The duty cycle is currently chopping at 50 percent. The direction of the motor is controlled by increasing or decreasing the duty cycle around 50 percent. As you can see, a duty cycle above 50 percent spins the motor in one direction. And then, returning to 50 percent, the speed returns to zero. When the duty cycle is reduced below 50 percent, the direction has switched. Now that we have demonstrated how to control the motor with three inputs, let's explore some of the other functions and see how the A4915 device performs. We are applying a DC voltage to the speed input. And now we're going to apply our enable jumper. By increasing the DC voltage on the speed input, the motor spins forward. You'll see the DC voltage here on the scope. and you can see the output switching waveform. Now we have 100% duty cycle applied and back down to zero. The integrated brake feature on the A4915 is active low, therefore you must apply a positive voltage to the brake pin to operate normally. I will demonstrate the brake function by pulling the brake pin low. The oscilloscope in normal mode triggered on the brake input. When the brake command is implemented, you can see the large current being recirculated in the low side drivers and in the motor winding. As soon as I trigger brake, the motor stops very quickly. Three, two, one. Getting a board for the A4915 is easy. Just go to AllegroMicro.com, type 4915 in the search box, then go to the A4915 product page and select your board based on package type. And remember that Allegro application support is always available. Until next time.